Hey everyone, it's Tony from the Handlebar Workshops, and today we're in the Office Workshop. I'm here with my Epiphone 12 string. It was built in the late 70s in Japan, and I picked it up about 20, 25 years ago. I really like the way it sounds, but it's got some issues. You can see up here at the first fret that the action is actually pretty good. The problem is, is down here, it's huge. I can fit my pinky finger under these, these strings, and I've got sausage fingers. And then if we use the string as a straight edge reference here, this neck is actually pretty flat. There's no bow in this neck. But that action is so high up here that if I'm trying to play anything above, say, the 7th or 8th fret, that if I try to bend the string, my fingers go underneath the strings there. So we know that the problem's not with the neck with a curve in it. It's with the way it's set in the body itself. Fortunately, this is a bolt-on neck, which is unusual for acoustic guitars. Usually they're set in there and glued, and that's a lot more work to fix. But here we just have to take it off, shim up the back, or remove some wood from the back, put the neck back on, and we should be good to go. With the strings off, we can see that it's an Epiphone Tuxin 12 string, made in Japan, down there in the bottom right-hand corner. And then if you turn it over, it gives a nice serial number also saying made in Japan. Back of the headstock is bare. We've got some nice mother of pearl abalone epiphone script there. A little a couple nicks. It is after all close to 40 years old. The serial numbers on these aren't very serial from what I've read online, uh, but saying that it's from Japan, it's probably from the late 1970s. Someone maybe glued this in there at one point. So I cannot get this off. It is not moving. I did it. Doesn't look like I damaged anything. This was already up here from another accident before. See, there's some kind of sticky stuff over here that matches up with this. It looks almost looks like masking tape, like maybe someone tried to shim it before. No, it's a different kind of wood. They got one kind of wood here and another kind here, and they glued them together here. It looks like there's some glue along the sides here. Yeah, maybe some over here, and that's definitely what was holding this in. So we got to clean that all up. The problem I'm having here is that the neck is actually too high up like this and as the string comes across up here you've got all this room between the string and the fretboard. The idea is to bring the neck back and get it close so this is close enough here without being too close up here. There's a nice balance we've got to do. We're going to need to take off wood at the back part here or on the top up here to make this lay back farther. So having the guitar flat on the 
bench top. I'm going to use a pair of dividers here to scribe a line just slightly below where I'm at right now. I just want to take off a little bit of time, but this will help keep me nice and straight across. You can see a nice straight line across there in the tape. Now I just got to bring that down to the tape. Now the rasp will tend to leave a radius corner here, so I come in with a chisel and I sharpen that all up. Now we're nice and low. This guitar is strictly acoustic. I've always wanted to put one of these in there. I bought it a long, long time ago. I just never got around to it because I never changed the strings. It's been quite a while since I changed the strings. So I figured I'd throw this in there too. This is just a uh, piezoelectric pickup so I can put it out to uh, an amplifier. All right, so I put a piece of tape on here to help prevent any uh, splintering and I push it in and I can find the little hole where the screw was in for the strap knob there. I've got a half inch bit and set it, center it right on that hole. And I'll go right through the tape and through the guitar. See I made a nice clean cut. The instructions give two options of where you want to put it. Down here for more bass or up here for more treble. I like mine to be more bassy so I'm going to put it here but I'm going to see if I can get it somewhere over here to kind of lay off the bass a bit. Uh, the transducer has a little uh, sticker thing on the back. So we take that off and want to put it down here so this can come out the back side over here. It's actually right about here. actually came out pretty good. Nice and even. Since I have the strings off and the neck is off, it's easy to get to. I'm just going to uh, go through and polish up these frets. They're kind of really gunky looking. I really do need to be crowned actually. There's some gouges in there and everything. Alright, we're back in the office. We're going to string it up with some 12 string acoustic strings. Alright, so let's see how well I did. Well, it's better. Not exactly perfect, but better. However, you can see there's a bit of a gap under the neck. That's not from the neck seating all the way, it's because I didn't get it quite flat, as flat as I'd wanted to. So the idea is when I take the strings off I can do that. But there is a problem in that the fretboard is starting to drop below the body of the guitar. You can kind of see the line out over here. 
and how it's kind of running right into this binding here. So I guess all along I should have put a wedge in there of some sort, some kind of shim to move everything up. Now I gotta put some kind of piece of wood that goes all the way through the entire pocket and lifts that up just a bit. I'll probably do that the next time I change the strings. So what about that pickup that I put in there? Well, I'm plugged in here to my Boss Katana. I've got it on the acoustic version. It's on the 50 watt power right now and bass and treble and everything are 12 o'clock. Well, all in all, it doesn't sound too bad on the pickup. It's it's passable and it's there if I need it, but I think I prefer uh, the regular acoustic guitar sound from this guitar. In fact, I really like that sound from this guitar at least. I had some other ideas for trying to do some uh, effects and stuff through the uh, amplifier just to see if I can get any kind of good sound out of this piezoelectric pickup, but it actually fell off of the soundboard here, so um, it's gonna have to wait till I change strings again before I go in and fix that. One of the reasons that I think the pickup doesn't sound so good is because most electrical acoustic guitars have a preamp that's in here and you can do some tone shaping in here. This obviously doesn't have that. So you're relying completely on your amp and any pedals you may put in front of it to shape your tone. But on a 12 string, you just kind of want that full sound so that may not be the best idea for a 12 string guitar uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up think about maybe subscribing uh, i got some more content like this coming out and a bunch of other different kind of contents definitely something to keep you interested uh, check out some of the old videos as well um, thank you for watching and i'll see you again in the next one